It's happening, chat. Patch notes, 3.6. Second anniversary login event. Okay. Celebrate Legends of Ventura's second year anniversary. I'm down for that. Uh huh. Seven days of login gifts and complete every event quest to claim the exclusive City of Progress icon. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Legends of Runeterra is turning two and we're giving out gifts to celebrate. From the release of patch 3.6.0 to May 12th at 2 a.m., log in over seven days to receive exclusive. Second anniversary rewards, including Arcane Skin and Vi and Jinx, sure. See, see this look? I'm guessing this is that. And turning to whatever. New cards, chat! Wait, we have new cards? What? We got, we got new cards? All right. In addition to the rest of the card updates below, we've got another set of new cards for this patch to fill in some gaps for a few archetypes, namely Elites, Reputation, and Udyr. Work with us. We're still experimenting with this idea. Fantastic. All right, Might of the Vanguard. We're improving elite packages in this patch, and Might of the Vanguard acts as a flexible way to bring another fairly statted elite to the field, or make your other elites more elite. What does it do? To play, spend all of your mana. Okay. I've seen this, actually. I remember seeing this. I forgot what it does, though. Summon a Dauntless Vanguard and grow its stats to that amount. If 9 plus mana was spent, grant other allied elites plus 2 plus 2. That's insane. Wait, that's that's a 9-9 nine, nine plus buff your entire board. Plus 2 plus 2. That's not bad. What do you mean? You know how good this is? This is a spell. That means you can play this with Lux, get a 6-6 six, six and level up Lux. You can play this with Mage Seekers, get a 6-6 six, six on 6 and whatever. You can play this, like, versus Aggro, you have a 1-1-1 one, one, one drop if you want. Versus Aggro, they play turn 1, a 2-1, they can attack you. Boom! 1 mana, 1-1. One, one. That's amazing! It's so versatile! Wait, I, I don't know. How is that ever bad? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in every elite deck. It can be in other decks. I'm just saying overall, that looks pretty spicy. Grow, so it's a 3... Wait. Oh, crap. Does that mean it has a minimum cost? Because that would be insane if you can play it for 0 mana 3-3. Three, three. Then it, it has to, what, cost 3 at the least? To play spin... Wait. There's no way. Okay, play. Let me see. There's no way that costs 0. Like, that's impossible. Will you put this card in your elite deck? Absolutely. So I'm, I'm assuming it has a minimum cost of three then. The minimum is three. Okay, that's good to know. All right, that makes sense. Pretty awesome. Still pretty decent. Commit? Yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. All right. Next card for glory. Um, reputation, I cost three. Okay, summon two Trefarian Glory Seekers. Wait, what? Isn't that the 5-1? I thought that was the 5-1. That's the 5-1, right? Okay. This is for reputation, okay? Wait, a few additional changes this patch to make the overall package more satisfying to pull off. For Glory can activate reputation faster or act as an efficient way to pull some threats to the enemy's backline. What is the base cost for this? I wonder. Five? That's not bad. Okay, six. That's a bit expensive. Six is a little bit expensive. Because that's a two mana draw card. Eh. I, I think you can play this in reputation decks. J Synergy, yeah, but it does like everything. They're all one HP. I think you can play this in reputation decks. There are some fun reputation decks. Try refreshing the... Yeah, I'm going. Nope, still broken. All right. Not, not bad, not bad. So, new Udyr card, Inner Beast. What does it do? As a flexible card that can work with wild variety of furloughed cards while providing a much more explicit benefit to Udyr himself. Alright, let's check this out. Inner Beast, what does it do? Give an ally, plus one plus one this round, create a stance swap in hand. Is that good? I really disliked this patch, and I am not the only one. It was leaked a few hours ago on Reddit and everyone hated and thought it was fake. Really? Sad face. The only good thing is that they've deleted Bandle Tree. Wait, everybody hated it? There's no way. It's not a five mana stance chat. First of all, it uh it gives plus one plus one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. It's a pretty versatile card. Like, okay, consider it like this. 
it's it's not a fleeting stance, right? It doesn't give you a fleeting swap stance. So compare this to Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade is two mana one one, draw a card. This is two mana one one, draw a stance swap. How how is that a bad thing? I think it's decent. You can still discount the stance. Absolutely true. Without Nightfall, actually, yeah. So you could actually open with it. If it was fleeting, I would maybe agree with you guys. It is kind of trashy, but like you you can you can do this on mana two, for example. And then you you still keep the stand swap in hand. I don't mind this at all. It's good as slightly worse sharp set with the draw. I mean you gotta compare this to Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade is still a great card. Alright, let's keep going. Card updates. And by the way, if so, if this gets fixed, if we can see the the stuff. Do let me know so I can actually put the pictures on. Patch is okay, but they should have not have used word rework. Oh, that part. I remember that part. Now, I, just, I had forgotten about that. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. All right. Card updates. As laid out in the early 2020 roadmap, 2022, this is our champion adjustment patch. We made a range of changes to some underplayed champions to help smooth out their game plans, as well as some supporting cards for elites, reputation, and Udyr, among others. Also, yes, nerf the battle tree in Yordles and Arms. I don't think this needed a nerf. I think this needed a nerf. That's good. Here's a look at each of the card updates coming this patch. Ash. So, what do they do? Yeah, yeah, I remember this. You decrease four plus enemies power to zero. This is actually pretty strong. Um, that's actually quite solid. That's a, that's a big difference because leveling Ash a turn earlier is pretty huge. Um, you in Ash decks you're already running what is it called the two cost card um, troll chant exactly troll chant so you're already playing troll chant with this yeah I like that I like that that's a really good change it's a good buff quicksands quicksands too actually but do you really play Ash with um with Sharima I don't think so maybe 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 that's the future but it's it's still pretty solid it's pretty nice also Ice Quake. Yeah. Yo, Icequake auto levels Ash. That's not bad. <laughs> that's that's actually interesting. Icequake and auto level Ash. Hmm, something to think about. Seven mana all freezes. Yeah, well that that always works. It doesn't really matter, right? It also kills Ash. She doesn't have to be on board chat. You can do that and then play Ash the next turn. Winter's Breath did the same thing, chat. And anyway, anyway. Not bad. Lore evolved quite a bit since Ash was designed, so we're opening up her level condition to let her chill with regions outside of Freljord. Okay, I like that. Pretty cool. Darius! I see the enemy has 10 health or less. I see the enemy has half of its starting health. Oh, half of champions. I thought Darius was getting buffed, dude. <laughs> oh no. Alright, listen. I've seen I've seen a lot of these changes. This one I don't remember seeing. I would have remembered this one, dude. I would have remembered this one. Alright, this is a random change. I Fine. Fine. Anyway. I wonder how this interacts with Gorlith. I don't know. Who knows? Galio, level two. Yellow is only gaining a single point of health on level up, so this change makes his stats more consistent with our rules and make him a bit more formidable. What? So he gets two, two HP points. Okay. All right, all right. You know what? I, 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 I can dig that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah makes sense. All right, Garen. New effect, round start rally. When I'm summoned, give other allies plus one, plus one this round. That's huge. That's a huge buff. Holy crap. That's a huge buff. It's one turn, but that's all you need. And this doesn't, this, okay, if it would have said give other elites 1-1, one, one, I'd say, well, you know, it doesn't. but this is all other allies. You could play this in like, for example, I don't know, like some kind of misfortune deck. Why not? Why would you not play this in a misfortune deck? You've got misfortune, turn five comes on, bam! Garen drops out with a five, five and everything plus one, plus one. That's insane. All right, Garen was feeling a bit vanilla, so we modernized his design while helping him enable Demacians to do what they do best, fight with square stats. All right. Karma! Oh. All right, I, I remember, this is the only buff I remembered 
when I saw the buffs preemptively. I'm going to say, now, listen. Basically, she creates a card at the end of the turn, whether she's leveled up or not. Karma losing functionality level up didn't feel great, so her level 2 now retains the spell regeneration, which also helps replenish your hand if it's empty. I'm going to talk about this seriously. Um, Basically, basically, what this does is makes Karma more playable in certain decks. That's it. There are some decks where I would have a tr uh, I, I would run into trouble if I have Karma and I have nothing being top deck that can draw me cards. I, that's happened to me before. And then you're just not getting enough value off the Karma because, well, you have no spells to play with her. So you're always forced to dr put a lot of draw in it so that when you have Karma on 10, you're, you have at least a couple of cards that generate more cards. So this is a buff in that sense. There are some decks where this is a nerf. There are decks where Karma just gets way too much draw and generating cards at the end of the turn just fills up your hand with useless stuff, so. It's a plus and a minus. Overall, I gotta say that's a plus, but my favorite part about this buff is it's a very small buff. And that means people are still not gonna play Karma, which means I'm not gonna see Karma on ladder, which means I'll be the only person playing Karma on ladder. And I, there's nothing else I, I love more than that. I wanna be the only person playing Karma on ladder. I hate facing Karmas, I love playing Karma. Bravo, Riot! Perfect change! No one cares about this except for me. I, lo I love it. I love it. Best change I've ever seen. Because I'm the only person who cares. Thank you, Riot. I appreciate that. Fantastic. Katarina level 2. Alright, let's read this. When I'm summoned, rally and create a fleeting Blade's Edge in hand. That's huge! What do you mean, Chad? It's huge! That's a huge buff! That's a gigantic buff! All these new changes and new cards, but when do we get to see the new hair? Chat, this Rock is ball, every time ball. you play her. Every time you play Katarina, you get a zero cost deal one to anything. That's gigantic. Listen, my hair is under the beanie. Leave me alone. That's a gigantic buff. Every time you rally, you get that. How, how can you... What? A rework, by the way. Of course! Of course, before she she had no blades. She was a she was a she was a, she was a boxer. Now now she's like a knife person. They reworked her. Um, anyway, <laughs> not quite not quite a rework. Let's be honest. I wonder if there's some really crazy OTKs you can do here. What if you reduce your cost to zero? It's doable. You could reduce your cost to zero with uh, Shurima. You can't. Why not? Akshan, Akshan's thingamajig. You get that. You cast it four times. You're good. And then you have infinite, um, you have infinite blades. That could be fun. Anyway, anyway, let's keep going. LeBlanc, when I level up and reach, each time I see you deal 15 damage, create a... Okay, so you get a mirror image right off the bat. If you already have one, reduce this cost by one, yeah. Okay, so, pretty tough to generate a mirror image, so giving her one on level up should help to increase LeBlanc's overall presence and thematic resonance. That's scary. That's, uh... That's really scary. That's it? What do you mean that's it, chat? That's really, really strong. You guys don't remember the... With, with, with the recent... With, with the other... Um... That's really, really strong with um, this dude. If you're playing Reputation. That's a, that's a free rally. Um, really, really early in Reputation decks. Like, that's a rally way earlier than you want it to exist. That's that's a that's a scary thing. That, that's 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 not something to laugh about. Getting getting that 15 damage earlier and getting what what is the mana cost for for the rally? Yeah, it's it's a two mana cost rally, dude. That's insane. That's that's really strong. That's not a joke. Um, I think you guys are underestimating how big of a change that is for her. The chat only wants big reworks. I, I got you. I figured. I figured. Leona. Did she never have Overwhelm? I don't even remember what she does. I'll, I'll be honest with you, chat. I don't remember what she does. I cannot remember. Leona already had the Zenith Blade, so this just makes sense. Uh-huh, this change should help Leona close out games more effectively once she levels up. That's a pretty big buff. No Kappa, that's a, that's a pretty big buff. 
because Leona really, really strikes hard. Um, very often playing Leona decks, you would run into the problem of not knowing what to give Overwhelm. Having one unit being free Overwhelm is pretty strong. That's quite a big buff, because usually in Leona decks, you're, you're stunning multiple units, and you're getting a lot of plus stats to all of your board, and then you swing with her. Scuffed? How's that Scuffed, dude? She's quite a bit stronger here. I guarantee you, you're going to see at least one Leona deck doing decently. Guarantee it. This is pretty decent. Four damage overwhelm, huge. On everyone. Right? I mean, yeah. That's, that's six damage swinging, overwhelm. That's not a small amount. And this is not like a... Th th this is pretty aggressive. That is strong. Destiny's Call. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make that a Destiny's Call deck. All right. Next. Next. Malphite, level one. Play, stun, an enemy. That's huge. That's huge, dude. What do you mean bad? How is that bad? Are you insane, chat? How is that bad? That's a huge buff. You can target with the stun. You can play Malphite defensively. What? I mean, imagine. Turn 7, your opponent plays Lee Sin, you play Malphite, you get to survive one, one turn more. That's huge. No, 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 no. Time out, time out. I see what's happening. <laughs> I see what's happening. My chat would never have these takes. Type 1 if you're, if you're, uh, if you're, if you're here, um, how, how do you say this? If you're a refugee from Swimstream, type, type one if you're refugeeing here. If you're looking for, 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 a new, for a new chat to troll, get out of here. I knew it. Every one of you. Th th I, I knew something was wrong, chat. I, I knew something was not right. All right, all right, all right. Now everything makes more sense. <sighs> everything makes so much more sense now. All right, let, let's keep going. I knew it. We, we have a lot of refugees in the house. It's, it's fine. It's okay. I do accept you, but I'm just, I'm just saying, chat, these takes are a little bit... Anyway, your chat takes, takes are much worse. That's what a swim viewer would say. Pro case proven! Anyway, let's keep going. Case proven! You proved it for me. Thanks, brother. All right, let's keep going. Malphite, pretty interesting trait um, change. Pretty interesting. For a high-cost champion, wanted to give Malphite a little extra rock and roll. Cringe. When he's dropped on the field, being able to immediately stun a target lets him more consistently stall the match until he can get into motion. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yo, thank you for the sums, guys. Think you must stream at this time permanently to help guide these misguided souls. <sighs> anyway. Nasus. They give him Fearsome back. You know, he needed that. Let's be honest. It it never felt nice where you're swinging with Nasus and th they block you with a chicken. And by chicken, I mean Omen Hawk. Uh, it's, it's just unfair. Like, it, it, it just hurts. It hurts my soul, you know? I want to get good trades with Nasus. So, this is a good change, overall. I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to see it. The penguin, yeah, the penguin. He's a chicken in this case. Um, Alright, pretty solid. Dropped this. Um, we're just giving it back for real, though. He was a little bit too scary in release, but he's fallen a little too far and could benefit from having it back. Absolutely agreed. Nocturne level 2. Now, this is a fun one. I remember this one, actually. When you play unit, give it minus 1 plus 1 this round. When you summon a unit, give enemies minus... Dude, I... People were telling me this... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what was happening. When we were discussing this change, everyone was saying this change sucks. I'm going to say, this is freaking awesome, dude. I think this, this is insanely strong. Why? First of all, People are, people are like, like, Grappler. Okay, so here's the problem. The people who are saying this, this change is bad are people who play Nightfall. Type 1 if you've never cared about Nightfall in your life. I'm, 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 I'm going to type 1. <laughs> I've never cared about Nightfall, dude. <laughs> Ever! <laughs> like, Nightfall? Only Nick Makes Plays cares about Nightfall. Let's be honest here. All right? Maybe for Nick Makes Plays, this is disappointing. This is not the rework he was hoping for. Everyone else, though. Everyone else. I'm going to say it. This is pretty awesome. L listen, this is scary. First of all, I think you don't even play him in Nightfall decks anymore. Forget about Nightfall. All right? Wait, actually, maybe you do. This is only for level two. You still need to level him up. You still have to level him. 
But once he's leveled, give me all the value. Give me, give me all the mushrooms. Crap! Thank you for the thousand bits. I love Nightfall. This changes everything. This just changed a lot. Absolutely. Listen, this is almost a rework. First things first. The first thing I said. What about harrowing? Everyone said nobody plays harrowing with him. I'll be the first. What happens if you harrowing? GG, well played. Listen. First things first. Let's talk about one card. Where is it? First, let's go to his region. First, no, let's even start. Boom! You drop Spectral Matron, minus two to everything attack. Insane! All right, all right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You got Invasive Hydrovine. Everything starts off with less attack. You pop Rekindler, minus two attack. You pop this bad boy, everything gets minus three attack. You play this, everything gets minus two attack. I'm going to be playing Wraith Caller with him. I, I'm calling it out. Risen Mist, insane. Burst speed minus, minus attack on blockers at burst speed? Huh? Insanato! You can't do that. It's, it's, it's absolutely unethical. Listen, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh at people's faces when I pot. You know what I'm going to do? Listen. But Grappler, yes I can and yes I will. Dawn and Dusk! Wait, you're, you're making me look bad. Dawn and Dusk on him and just laugh at the world. <laughs> I'm gonna pop a Dawn and Dusk on him. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what? Well, what is that? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna Dawn and Dusk into Vile Feast. Everything gets like minus 20 attack. Easy. Easiest game of my life. I click Vile Feast first. It's over. Game over. We win the game. Anyway, there's a lot of cool things you can do. Harrowing, you bring back like two, two of him. That's it. Everything minus 20 attack. It's over. Dude, this is so much fun. Without Targon, I know, chat. I'm aware. But I'm just saying, this, there is a lot of fun decks you can build with this. A lot of fun decks. The, the fact that Vile Feast lowers everything's attack is insane. Insane. Like, that's crazy. You gotta level up first? Yeah, I know. So you probably have to play him with Nightfall. But still, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a win condition that people can't really stop easily. I think this is an insane change. I love this change. I actually might start like flirting with the idea of playing some Nocturne decks. It's a shame you have to play with Targon, because if you didn't, you could play it with like a Sharima <laughs> and play it with like a Zir, but let's not go that far. All right. Scion level one, base stat level one. Okay. They give him one attack. That's a good change. I felt I felt really I, I felt bad for Scion, I'll be honest. As long as they made this guy as well. Okay, so Scion Return also gets nine attack. That's a good change. Not a revert, but it's a it's a it's a step in the right direction. Help close out games more effectively. I agree with that. Half revert. I, I can dig that. Pretty good. Refresh stop it. I'm not refreshing again, chat. I'm not falling for it. Anyway, let's let's see what's next. Udir, level one. I I okay, I swear to you, I don't remember what this I don't think I've seen this one. I don't remember this. Level up condition. Oh, actually, I have seen it. Yo, thank you, Tui. Thank you for the support, buddy. I appreciate that sub. Your first ever sub. You've damaged the Nexus seven plus times this game. They changed that, okay, to you've stand swapped three plus times this game. I mean, that's a lot easier. That's a lot easier to level up. Harder to level? Are you insane? It's not harder to level up now. It's easier, I think. Udyr should feel right at home playing stand swap, so changing his level up to revolve around it should make his kit more cohesive overall. We're giving his power a slight boost to make him more a threat early on. Guys, this is a this is a big change. And I'll tell you, there's one reason why it's a big change. Cause like if you have to hit the Nexus seven plus times, you're playing an aggro deck. In what world is Udyr an aggro deck? He's not a finisher. He doesn't do crap. He's like a late game dream where he has like 20-20 stats and you give him overwhelm and swing for the fences. It makes no sense for his level up condition to force you to play cards that go face. It makes absolutely no sense. Instead, you give him this condition, which means you can build around this. You can, you can build an entirely delay control deck with healing. This is a big change. I like this. I like this. I mean, I don't know if he's good. I think he still might be bad. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I think he might still be bad. 
but it's a good change. Like the change is solid. You can actually like play this card in interesting decks all of a sudden. I'm not mad at this at all. He was easy to level. Yeah, but in the wrong deck. He was easy to level in the wrong kind of deck. Hey, DX, thank you for the Prime Man. He might still be bad, but he you can build decks with him. Interesting decks. Alright. Alright, what's next? Vladimir! Wait, he has Fearsome? Wait, 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 what happened? Wait, he always had Regeneration. What? I'm confused. What happened? What did, what did he... Okay, he has Fearsome now. Is that it? He got Fearsome? So he gets Fearsome as a buff. Vlad is a bloody hard time dealing with chump blocker, so this change should let him be a bigger threat and close out games faster. I'll be honest. I always felt a little bit bad for Vladimir. Nobody took him seriously. Nobody took him seriously. Now, now he strikes fear in the hearts of... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, okay. he has he has fearsome. I'll, I'll take it. Listen, I'll take it. Maybe Vladimir Ash is the new meta. I'll take it. You know, I'm not even going to complain. Give him fearsome. It's a buff. It's a buff. I can't complain. Now that the patch is out. In LPP mm -hmm. meeting about the patch, what was the change that everyone hated? Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? Probably not. Say it. Yes, Kappa, NDA, Nick say, okay, what did Nick say, Han? Han, what did Nick say? Let's see it. Say it, what did Nick say? Yeah, man, trust me, you can. They wanted to buff Vi. Okay, yeah, you're right, okay. If, if it's already out, it's already out. They wanted to buff Vi. They were going to remove Vi's attack down to zero. So, currently, currently, currently Vi is a 2-4. They were going to make Vi a 0-4, but this grants Vi's everywhere plus 1 plus 0. Everywhere. So if your first Vi gets the 10, your second Vi is also a 10 whenever you draw her. So she was going to start out a lot slower. Two less... Okay, that's a big difference. Starting off with 0 attack is a pretty big difference. But um, your second and third Vi were pretty strong at that, right? Yeah, late game, end game, she was always going to be a 5-10. A 10-4, sorry. I actually like that change, personally. You don't need her in hand. Oh, no, you did need her in hand. The first one. Puffball Panda? Yes, you did. You needed to have one Vi in hand, I'm pretty sure. Or am I wrong here? Do I remember it wrongly? I'm pretty sure the change was she just gets plus... I think you needed to have one Vi in hand for it to happen. Like, I think one had to be... um. I think it was while I'm in play or in hand, grant all vice plus one plus zero. I think something like that. I don't know if, what would happen if you had two in hand, but I don't recall exactly. But it was something like that. People complained. I thought it was fine. But if, if it was anywhere, you didn't have to have one, then yeah, I agree. It's too much. Why did they apply it? Because people said she was the best champion in the game, which I kind of disagree with. But it was a lot of competitive players saying it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to argue with them. Anyway, um, yeah. Add overwhelm. <laughs> All right, ambush costing three. It was a go-to tool for some decks to game, to end games abruptly without much opportunity for interaction. We're increasing the cost to be in line with similar effects. That's 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 a good change. That's a that's a solid change. I think so. It's unplayable. I don't think it's unplayable. All of a sudden, you can play this in tribeam. Maybe why not in tribeam decks? It's not horrible. Like that can be a little bit scary. I think it's a fine change. I don't think the card is dead. It's still pretty strong for what it does. It's a little bit slower OTKs, yes. Like, 3 cost is pretty nice for PNZ. Yeah, I think it's fair. My boy got butchered, chat. Listen. I'ma say it. Grappler, no you- I'ma say it, chat, this is a buff. Now, if they play Ballistic Blood on turn four, 
and you have a Brahmin board, you can't challenge her to you can't challenge her to, to generate a Poro. It's impossible. All of a sudden, my Brahm deck sucks so much worse because now they're gonna keep it at zero tech and laugh at my face. Like you think you got a Brahm? No, you don't. You ain't getting no Poros. Listen, this is this is this is a buff if I've ever seen one. Fantastic. Take that, Brahm. Yeah, this this uh, yo, that's a. Uh, they're they're thinking outside the box here. I like it. This bot has been an overperformer for a while, and with Victor's recent buffs, it's time to tune the engine down a notch. Absolutely agree, though. Um, I think I think he's still very playable. The only difference is now it's it's worse as an early early chump blocker, but still, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. Hmm. Let me think. So where does this actually matter? Um. I know Ballistic Bot is a very annoying blocker versus Akshan. Does that make a difference? Does it make a difference playing versus Akshan decks? Because I know Akshan really hates this this card. Yeah, that's pretty significant. Um, Before, you could... Like, they play Akshan on two, you play Ballistic Bot on two. And if Akshan attacks and you have Victor's card in hand, like the deal one damage or whatever, or even if you just have a Thermo Beam, you're kind of good. Now you can always attack with Akshan into Ballistic Bot on two. That's pretty solid. And you can't attack with Ballistic Bot on two either. Like, if you play him on attack, that's one damage less. That's a pretty significant nerf. It can't block one, yeah, it can't block two ones, of course. That, that's, that's, that's like, obvious, but yeah. No, that's, that's a pretty big nerf. It's actually a very significant nerf, I would say. Significant. There's a two minor predict, two, three. Yeah, no, no. If this was a one, two, this card is trash. It would be trash. I, th I think the only other way you could nerf it is make it a two, two, but that's... And at that point, it's definitely playable. But if it made it into 1-2, it would be absolute trash. Yeah. 0-3, I think it's a good nerf. Because this is only being played in aggro decks. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it. If it dies to, guys, if it dies to Mystic, it's still a 1-for-1. One one. It's not that big of a deal. You play Ballistic, they play Mystic, it's 2-mana for 2-mana. Like, yeah. It's, it's still not the end of the world. Alright. Blood for blood. Oh! Burst? A what? Excuse moi? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. In Vlad decks, obviously. But even in Braum decks, I, I want to say something really quick. Imagine this. Oh, wait, you can't do it on Braum, actually, because it's only followers. Because if you could hurt Braum at burst speed, that's 2 minus summon a 3 3 blocker at burst speed. That would be insane as well. Yetis is really cool. Dude, this actually fits so well in. um in uh, what is it called um leblanc ash leblanc ash is insane with this that's really really strong marauders as well yeah i mean i know they run marauders they run yetis they run a lot of good drops with this that's pretty strong it's a worse iterative improvement usually it is um yes but first of all it's not in pnz that's a big difference and second of all well it's really good in like vlad self-harm decks so it really, yeah, of course, region matters. Like, what what beats Mystic Shot is a two cost removal, nothing. All right, very very good buff for this. This actually might be playable now. I like this. Buried Sun Disk. When an ally, when an ascended ally levels up, advance me ten rounds. Ooh, yo, that's a nerf. Holy crap. That's mana eight ascended, at fastest. Mana eight. Unless you run the two two drop, uh, like accelerate me card. That's that, that's a, that's a that's a great nerf. I love it. I love the nerf. Cause I, I was saying like, if I was to nerf this, I would make this countdown twenty seven, like it just give it two more turns. But like this is a great nerf. Can't they play the advanced card? Yes, but that's one more card that's like boring, right? Like that doesn't really help you much. So that's a great nerf. I like that nerf a lot. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly nerfed. Because, like, Shariba wasn't even that broken. There was a lot of decks that beat it up. Aggro decks were having their time with it. Um, Victor decks were doing great with it, so I like this. Kala's Bone Crusher. Yo. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, he doesn't cost two anymore? She. Reputation, I cost three, and when I'm summoned, grant me overwhelm. Hmm. Um... Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Pretty solid card. 
In addition for glory, LeBlanc's change, we want to make hitting repetition more impactful. Is now more of a threat to close out games. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty solid change. Yeah. It used to be a 2 four, six, two mana 6-4, but the overall makes a big difference, even for one more mana. It's, it's a better card. It's better than it used to be, for sure. It's pretty good, yeah. I agree. Hyara Ulseer. Wait, is this a card? I've never seen this card in my life. Is this a new card? No. This is an old... Wait. When I'm... Okay. Before it read, when I'm summoned, create a stand swap in hand, it costs zero this round. That was a good card. Now it says when I'm summoning, create a stand swap in hand. The first as you play each... That's not bad. That's not bad, dude. With Udri's new level up condition and inner beast, um, has been changed to... Oh, yo, 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 that's, that's huge. That's huge. Three stand swaps all over the place? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna play some Udyr Karma. Yeah, Udyr Karma is where it's at now. Because Karma's amazing with Udyr spells. That's awesome. That's a, that, that's, that's a, that's a cool card, actually. That's a, that's a very good card. I like that. All we're missing now is a way to make all those stances burst speed. <laughs> all right. You know, this was necessary. Finally. Some elite love. Swiftling Lancer, you have been upgraded. Fantastic. Let's admit for Might of the Vanguard and Vanguard Squire change to make the archetype more cohesive overall. True, because elites, they, they require challengers. Like, it's, it's cool to have elites all over the place, but there is so few challenger elites. This is huge. Giving a... Yeah, I like this overall. Now it's an elite. Fuel promotion? Eh, but why? <laughs> Alright. This is the one change I do remember very well. I actually leaked this change by accident many, many weeks ago. I was like, wait, how does Bandle Tree cost 5? And everyone was like, what do you mean, Grappler? Of course it costs 5. I'm like, wait, didn't they change that? Chat's like, no, Grappler, they never changed it. I'm like, I could have sworn they changed it. I could have sworn it costs 4 now. Wait, it costs 5. It, it costs 4 now. Alright. The best change they could have done. And I, I actually wanted this to cost 3. I'll be honest. I wanted this to cost three. But I understand why they were scared to make it cost three. Now it is um, around start create a follower from a new region in hand. Win the game if you've seen, if I've seen units from 10 regions summoned. Yeah, I think at four costs it's too expensive. I think it's not going to see play. The problem was, if it was three cost, I think it might be a little bit too good. Three mana draw card every turn is pretty strong. It's pretty strong. No, it's every turn to draw a card. Every turn. And a win con on top of that. Right? If it was 3 mana, just draw a card, fine. But it's also a win con in the same time. 3.5 mana seems good. I literally... That's, that's literally what I said during the, the debate about the card. I still would have made it cost 3. I think 4 is just way too bad. This change makes it the battle tree condition can be reset if it's removed from the field, increasing overall interactivity and effectiveness of the landmark removal against the deck. Hitting the instant win condition is much harder, but we didn't want to completely burn the tree down, so the cost has also been lowered. Not enough. It's an effective value generator for a relatively high initial investment. Yeah, it's too high. Too high. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy they made this change. This, this was so necessary because I think this card should never see play in aggro decks. It doesn't make sense in my mind, for aggro decks to have a win con that just sits in hand, and when they drop it, it wins the game. That, like, there's a reason aggro decks are supposed to run out of steam. If you're an aggro deck, and you can, you can you control them for 20 turns, you should win the game at that point. They're out of steam. Nope, nope. I got three insta-win cards in my deck as well. No, no. Horrible, horrible idea in my head. So, I'm very happy with this, but I think it's a little bit too expensive at four. Vanguard Squire costs three. That's a big buff. This is actually playable now. Like, it's a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. Even that is, like, default, right? Like, a bit worse than default, but still. When you summon an elite, reduce my cost by 1. That's significantly decent. That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I, I know what this card does. I don't even need to see it. Before it gave plus 2, plus 2. Okay. Give allies 2-2 two, two this round. If you've summoned or cast cards from 4 plus regions, give allies 3-3. Three, three. I'll be honest, I, I like Yordle Arms where it was. I never play Yordle Arms. But I didn't, I really didn't mind the card. I really didn't. Like, if you wanted to nerf it, maybe, maybe five plus regions, right? 
Just put an extra region in there, but I don't think it was broken. It's slow speed. I don't know. I, I feel bad for, like, the little yordles. Like, they're, they're getting butchered all over the place. Leave their yordle and arms alone, you know? L l let the dream stand. It's still decent, you know? But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of like them having a strong, like, swarm card. It was broken with Poros. It was, <clears throat> it was broken with not Poros, but the, the one-cost spell shield card, basically. Yo, Devil, thank you for the seven months, man. All right. Fair enough. Game rule updates. Now, this is the part I hate. Oh, my God, I hate this. I'm so not happy with this. I am not a fan. Following the patch 3.4, we have some important rule changes. Uh-huh. Please read below. I, 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 I don't like a lot of these things. I'm so unhappy with these, this stuff. No more pass. Previously, you could only end the round after your opponent has fully passed without taking an action. Begin this patch. Your opponent passes after playing only a burst or focus spell. You may now end the round. I kid you not, everybody liked this, except for me. I'm the only person who didn't like this. I think everybody said this is a great change. I don't know why. I, I, don't, I don't like it. No! Everyone liked it! They were saying it was good. Nick did it as well, didn't he? I could have sworn he said he liked it. People were saying this was great during the conversation. Kaviria hates it too? Well, Kaviria wasn't there. <laughs> I'm just saying who was there at the time. I don't like it. I really don't like it. It helps paid actors. <laughs> you like it? Banned. Anyway, it is what it is. We'll have to learn to live with it. <sighs> Create consistency between how gameplay flows both inside and outside of combo. What does that even mean? Create higher stake decisions, especially in late game. This does, this is true. It does make your decisions much higher staked. Absolutely. Reduce empty and necessary pass and passbacks. I like those. I'll be honest. I like those. But this is kind of true. It's much more high stakes decisions now than it was before. Cast is merging with... Oh. This is the worst change I've ever seen, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. This sucks. Casting merging with play. This is a bit complex, so let's define play and lore first. When a card leaves your hand into play or onto the stack, it's playing a card. Cast cards have been adjusted to activate when you play a card. Targeting now activates when you play a card. This is really bad. Karma Heimer dead. Dead. Karma Heimer's dead. You no longer get double turrets. Karma Ezreal dead. You no longer have double Ezreal procs. <clears throat> no, this is only PNZ. It gets worse. It gets worse. Um, Karma Lux dead. No more Karma Lux. You don't get double double laser. Um, like 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 no, really. She says when I've seen you cast six plus mana of spells. Now it's gonna say when I see you play six plus mana spells. Play, no longer cast. It's gonna change it to play. Everywhere it says cast is gonna be play. Karma, when you, when, when you have Lux and Karma on board, and you play a 6 mana cost spell, the first one's played, the second one's cast. Yeah. Every Karma interaction with Lux, with um, Ezreal, with uh, Heimer, gone. Gone. You're missing information, I'm not. I'm not. Watch the video. wrong is it cast will not exist it will i think it might work the other way around they said there would be a variety of buffs in general 
With this change, we're adjusting 61 cards in ways that range from small text changes to larger impact timing changes. Um, unifying timing of spell listeners to increase consistency, whatever, increase gameplay satisfaction, overall, whatever. No, with Karma, Karma will always, when you play a spell, play it again. No, it's going to cast it again. Watch again. Love the new spell play versus cast changes. Quick question. If I have level Jason Lux in the field and cast a spell, will I still get two lasers or one? Just one. Copied spells are not considered played. You see, chat? One of the biggest losses for sure. Some of the champs effect are buffed in some ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> yep. I know. I told you, chat. Yeah. Karma Lux, Karma Ezreal, Karma whatever. The interaction's gone. Who's buffed by this change? I don't know, dude. This is the one thing I really dislike. Out of, out of everything, this part here. Yeah. Can't deny Ezreal level up now. What do you mean? Ezreal didn't need it. Yeah, but with Karma, Karma, you no longer get double proc with Ezreal. Like, currently, Ezreal states... Um, when you cast a spell... Now it's going to be when you play a spell, right? So if Karma, if you play a spell with Karma on board, you're playing one casting one, but the second one doesn't deal damage. Does that make sense? It's going to be when you play a spell, deal one, if it targeted, whatever. Same thing here, when, like, Lux is not going to be when I've seen you cast 6 plus mana, it's going to be when I've seen you play 6 plus mana. Heimer is going to be the same way. It only really affects Karma and, um, what is the, what is the, the dude, um... It, it only really affects Karma and possibly the unplayed card Mirror Mage. Like, like it could also it could also affect Mirror Mage, but nobody plays Mirror Mage. It's it's just basically J Jace Karma and Mirror Mage, unfortunately. Doesn't that make Yuzu's ability burst for fast spells? No. Hey, thank you for the subs, guys. They buffed Karma just to nerf her again. I mean, to be honest, let, let's put it out there. This really doesn't affect me. Because uh, I rarely play those Karma decks. Where, like, it, it really affects... The real, the real deck it hurts is Karma Heimer. Because it wasn't a very strong deck. I, I enjoyed playing Karma Heimer. It's one of my favorite um, interactions where you play, like, a 10-cost spell and you get, like, double 8-8 eight, eight turrets. And you, you can recover really, really nicely. But... Again, I, I, I rarely play that deck, and I rarely... And, like, the one really strong deck it does affect is Karma Lux. Like, Karma Lux is just, at this point, it's massively nerfed. It's a massive Karma Lux nerf. Oh, no. Wait, is that a Karma Karma nerf? No, it's not. Is it? What happens if you Karma Dawn in Dusk? You play Dawn and Dusk of Karma, you get uh, you get five Karmas on board. No, it doesn't affect Karma by, by herself. No, Karma Auction's fine. Oh no. Oh no! When you target allies... Okay, this doesn't say cast on allies, it's target. So target should still work. Tar targeting doesn't say it has to be a played spell. Okay, so we're, we're fine with this deck. It's fine. Yeah, so it's only targeting. Fade and Argument are burst speed now. L let's keep going. Gameplay more intuitive right off the bat. I, I really dislike the change. Um, this patch would add additional visual effects. Stack clarity. The board visuals need to clarify what is unresolved action, which player can stack. Whatever. Let's see what this looks like. I'm confused. I'll say it again, I really don't like all the clutter they're adding to the to the visuals. Like, I, I don't like the little numbers they're adding here. I, I... Too much clutter, man. I'm not a fan of clutter. Alright. 
stack clarity, whatever. Attacker and blocker indicators use they can attack or block get swords or shield icons. Why? Do you need what? Everyone knows what's attacking and blocking, dude. Turn gems and button naming. The OK and turn button has been relabeled to constantly name what's happening to reduce ambiguity. Two gems have been added to the bottom. The button to indicate turn. Two gems have been added to the button to indicate turn status. A lit gems mean the player on that side has committed an action. Once both gems are lit, action will be. Why? Attacker chevrons. Attackers have a rod, a red pointy indicator. If they're going to hit the opponent's nexus, they lose it if they're blocked. Or... Why? I mean, I can see if something's in front of the unit, brother. Clearer ghost blockers. Ghost blockers. The translucent visuals, uh-huh. Now appear under the blocker as soon as it is placed. To make it clear that the attack is still blocked even if they're removed. A lot of testing on these to make Laura a more intuitive experience overall, and we're looking forward to your impressions and feedback once the patch drops. I think this is the only good change. People, people, new players get confused by this. Like, new players get confused. If this is what they mean, I think this is solid. Make that more, more visually clear. That, that, that's a decent change, like, sure. But overall, like, like, seriously, like, 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 who's, who, who, who needs that? Like, oh, he's still hitting face. What's happening? No, no, dude. Let people learn what overall means. I don't know. I, I just don't like the, the, the approach of adding more and more clutter. Like, I don't know. Type one, if you guys have had this experience. You hear all about this really cool mobile game. You download it, you click start. Pop-ups everywhere. You don't know what's happening. Everywhere, pop-up, pop-up. Hey, you gotta go. I'm like, what is this? Alt F4, Alt F4. You know, I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I, 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 I gotta escape. You know why that happens? Because they keep adding stuff. Adding visual clutter to my freaking screen. It's easy to add one thing, then another, then another, then another, and then eventually it's like, well, what the hell happened? What, what happened to the game I used to love and enjoy? You know? I really don't like this approach of adding more and more stuff. Stop it. I, I don't want to be mean to the dev team, but it almost feels like... Maybe that's a bit mean to say, but it almost feels like... like People need to justify their position. Maybe, maybe there's somebody in, in, in the dev team whose job it literally is for UI changes, UI graphical change manager. And he's like, holy crap, I haven't made a change in two months. <laughs> All right, boys, got a brand new idea. We're, we're doing it. We're, 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 we're going to we're gonna add some beautiful UI changes this month. We've been working on this, you know, and then when, when the report comes out, like, what do you do again? Oh, I'm the UI visual manager. Oh, what did you do last patch? I made some shield icons. You can keep your job for one more month. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really think this is just... It, it, no! I don't need this. I mean, am I crazy here to say that this just looks inferior? Sure, it portrays more information. But I'm not a two-year-old who, who's drooling and trying to figure out what the hell is happening on the board. I'm playing a card game. I'll eventually learn. And once I learn the interactions, I don't need this anymore. Okay, listen, the only way I accept this is if you put a button to freaking remove it. Seriously, put a button where remove these silly changes, like let me toggle it on or off, at least that way, you know. But even the toggle button is bad in my opinion, because at the end of the day, you, you kind of want to use it if you're a competitive player, just not to miss out on small details, right? So even at the end of the day, you wouldn't toggle it off. It, I, th I think it's just bad to, inc inc to include it. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan, whatever. All right, clear the ghost blocker shirt. Personalization. Champion skins. Some art. Alternate art. All right. That's me right now. I can't believe it. I think the person who made this emote was like, what the hell are you doing, Riot? Literally. <laughs> you see this look? They knew. 
No, the person who made the emote knew. That's an actual genius. Give him a raise. Put him. <sighs> Cardbacks, okay. All right. Overall, how do I feel? I, 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 like, I like most of the changes. I really do. I think the changes are great. A lot of cool things happening. There are going to be a couple of decks we're going to have fun with. We're going to build a few. Um, maybe we'll play a bit, a few karma decks just to try that out. Um, like karma ramp could be a thing, for example, ramping with karma. Just because now getting to level ten doesn't have that negative downside of not being able to refill in your hand. But I don't know. Um, reputation for sure might be a thing. Um, Udyr, we're going to we're going to experiment with. I think Ash could maybe see some play in side Shurima. That's a pretty cool thing as well, because like there are really good Shurima cards that work well with this. Maybe we can play some Path of Champions with it. Anyway, anyway, um, Garen for sure. With Elites especially. Katarina, there's some really cool things we can try. We already talked about Reputation. I, I don't really play Daybreak that much, but someone else will probably make a deck with it. This is a big change. Um, play Stun an Enemy is a really huge change. It makes Malphite so much stronger. Good Nasus change. I'm not really going to play him much, but you never know. Nocturne, amazing change. Brand new deck archetypes are going to come up with this. Um, yeah. Vlad is scarier than he was before. Cool change. Really, really cool change. And yeah, at least in general, we're going to be spicy. But then, like, this is the part I really, really like. And, and, and <laughs> Riot. Why? Why, Riot? Why you got to be like that, Riot? Like, really? First of all, the cast play, it just... I hate it. I hate it, personally. I, I personally really dislike it. But it is what it is. Look, we'll, we'll learn to live with it. A few months from now, we're going to forget about this. It is what it is. Um, I'm just not... There's a, that's a lot of... That's a, like, it only really affects Karma, but it's such a cool deck to affect. It's, it's so sad that Karma, Karma Heimer, Karma Ezreal, Karma, all these Karma decks are no longer the same as they used to be. It really is a shame. Uh, but, I mean, I guess they thought they had to do it. And uh, the past thing, I'm not a fan at all. I'm not a fan. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to forget about this in like in like a month or two as well. But, and this one I'm, I'm more okay with. I can sort of understand why it's the way it is. I really can. But uh, this this part bothers me more. And then, and then this is just like, I mean, this is not a big deal. I'm overreacting on purpose sort of almost, but it's still visual clutter. Like, right, you just keep adding more stuff to the screen. Why? It looks worse. I know, I know, I know. So here's the thing. They're not looking at this with virgin eyes, okay? I've been a monk for months now, so I, I've actually got the superpower of virgin eyes. I'm looking at this as if it's the first time I've ever looked at this in my life, okay? All right, my, my eyes are right now... Like, I just see a lot of clutter everywhere. I, I just see clutter everywhere. That's, that's not what I need to see. What does this electricity mean? What is that? What is this? What is that? What is... You know? No. No. Nice and simple. I don't know what clip this is, but it'll show me some gameplay. The unit is dying with this, but it still deals four damage to face. Look at this. Wait, what was that? Wait. Is the, is, is the patch already out? Wait, the patch is out? Wait, patch is out? Yes? Oh. I thought she was like early access. Holy crap, I didn't realize. It's worse than I thought. I thought it was going to be bad tomorrow. It's bad today, chat. It's over. We're done. We're done. Oh, no. You have to restart your launcher? Yeah, I get that. All right. That's all the changes for now. There's nothing really else to cover. Hate the visual changes. I mean, here's the thing. In a week from now, I'm no longer going to notice this. I just think it's really bad for new, for new players just to be cluttered all over the place. I'm not a fan. Watch the video. Is, why do I have this? I don't want this little... Tr like, it's just... Anyway. C'est la vie. This playcast change is so garbage. Um, is it garbage? That, this one I'm less sure about. I personally don't like it. 
but that could also be me being stubborn because I'm already used to using pass as a, as a tool and I, I don't like getting a tool removed from me. So it might be me being stubborn. I, I, I give this the benefit of the doubt. I think this is horrible. The only reason this is here is for papayas who can't figure out the difference between cast and play. Like, but I, 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 I cast card and, uh, but he played it. I'm going back. I'm going back to Hearthstone. And they're like, no, you can't have that. We can't have that. Oh, we lost another one, boys. All right, all right, listen. This cast and play thing no longer. We're putting it into one, th just simplify. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It wasn't that complicated. Anyway, it's a, it's a bad change in my opinion. It's a bad change, I, I don't like it. Anyway, anyway, um, I think that's it for the patch notes. There's not really that much left to um, cover. Yeah, I, I understand that now Bert and like Ezreal got sort of a buff. I feel like it's almost an unintended buff. Is it? I don't even know. No way they missed that. I don't know. Maybe it's an intended buff. That's a pretty big buff for Ezreal. It's just still a nerf to Karma Ezreal. They know and still... I mean, I, I, I'm I pretty sure they like this change. Yeah, the visual, yeah. But overall, the changes are pretty dang good. Ooh, dear! Okay, I'm gonna refresh just in case Udyr came back. Oh, wow. Oh! It's all back! Alright, listen, Tams, I know you're editing this, so... Uh, just pretend I'm talking. Alright, whatever you can do with that, we're good. Whatever we can do with that, Tams, we're good for YouTube.